What's up y'all, Retro Sneakers here, back at y'all with a new video. In today's video, I'll be discussing my top five favorite beaters of 2016. Let's get into it. So my top five favorite beater of 2016 is my Space Jams that recently released. I recently wore these Space Jams out, so as you can see, they did get pretty muddy, and there's some mud here on the midsole as well. I don't know if y'all can see this, but these shoes are pretty creased up from the ankle area after wearing them so much. These shoes actually recently got me back into collecting and that's kind of funny because back when I was a freshman in high school the Space Jams from 09 are the shoes that got me to stop collecting for some odd reason I remember I had finally gotten a pair of jams in my hand back in 2012 and as soon as I had them I just lost all desire to keep searching for more and more shoes to collect and just a couple weeks ago I got these space jams in hand and they just changed everything you know I got these and I was just inspired to want to collect more and more right now I'm gonna go ahead and give my space jams a little cleanup because they do need it especially because these are some icy soles and I don't want them to get yellow or anything like that to clean these up I'll be using some rejuvenator advanced sneaker solution this is gonna remove all of the dirt we don't want So yeah guys, this is my top five favorite beater of 2016. So number four on my list is my 1994 bread ones. I got these in like the beginning of 2016 and now it's the beginning of 2017. And most of the time that I had them this year, I did not wear them at all because these are just very uncomfortable shoes. This shoe was just a nightmare. You know, I, I got them so excited thinking, you know, I'm gonna wear these all the time. You know, I was wrong. But recently I got a pair of Zoom units and I put them inside of them and the comfort level has just risen up higher and higher, man. As y'all can see, I creased these up a lot from wearing them. I just gave zero f and wore the shit out of them. The only thing holding up this shoe is the stitching, literally just the stitching. All of the glue on the edges, completely gone. Number three on my list is the Aqua 8s. When I cop these, I plan to just beat them up and wear them to my shoes, and that's exactly what I did with these. These didn't get too beat up. Of course, they got creases, you know, the soles are dirty, but one thing that did surprise me on these is that the paint did not crack on these at all. As y'all can see, man, look, look at that. I unfocused the camera right now, and y'all can see that, man, just sparkling. So yeah, this right here pretty much was just my work shoe for 2016. Every shoe you saw me at, man, I was rocking these. Number two on my list are my Fenty Pumas. These things right here are clean as f The velvet upper is just on point, man. This color is just amazing. I know they don't look too beat up, but yes, these are beaters. I wear them a lot. They're super comfortable. As you can see, they got this thick sole. I know they look kind of funny, but when you rock them or when you see them in person, you'll probably have a different outlook on these. My beaters are always my favorite shoes to wear because you know, like you gotta be comfortable, you know what I mean? You, you gotta feel good in your shoes, you know? One thing that I love about these is that the sock liner on these is completely leather. This shoe right here is another shoe that inspired me to collect even more, especially in 2017. So I'm about to reveal my number one favorite beater of 2016. And I know some of y'all are just, you know, tired of seeing these on the videos. Y'all don't like them at all. But this was my beater for 2016. I beat these to the max probably more than any shoe I, I own. This beater is more comfortable than any shoe that I have shown y'all out of my top five. And it's, it's simple, you know? All right, so here we go. Fenty Puma slides. Um, these right here are pretty chopped. They have horrible midsole creases. Um, they're pretty dirty and 
the the slide is actually like just starting to fall apart pretty much as you can see the the fur on it is coming off so yeah this is my number one favorite beater of 2016 i wore these more than any other shoe you know because i wore these around the house i wore them when i edited when i made the bangers for y'all you know they went through it all so yeah guys those are my top five favorite beaters of 2016 let me know down below in the comments what were your top five favorite beaters of 2016 and if y'all want to stay updated with me and everything i'm doing make sure you follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter my ad name is retro snickers i recently changed my instagram name so don't look up jose Ramirez anymore because you won't find me so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and have a great year